and welcome to Storytime at the Arlington Public Library. My name is Miss Jenny, and today I brought a couple of friends with me to Storytime. Hmm, I wonder where they are. Can't find them anywhere. Let's see. Where is Penguin? Where is Penguin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, thank you. Waddle away, waddle away. Do you want to try it with me using your fingers as penguins? Let's do it. Where is penguin? Where is penguin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Waddle away, waddle away. The penguins that I have with me today are both emperor penguin puppets. This is what little baby pengu emperor penguins look like when they're born. They're covered with gray downy feathers. When they get older though, they lose those feathers, some of those feathers, and they get new ones. And they become like other penguins, white on the front and dark on the back. And that's because when penguins Here's an older, here's an adult emperor penguin. When penguins jump into the water, they have some things that like to eat penguins. But when they're swimming like this from below, things like seals that might want to have a penguin lunch, see white that looks like the ice sheet around. And if uh, a seal, a leopard seal is above, he sees the black back that kind of um, matches the dark water around it. So this kind of camouflages the penguin and helps him. I think, now the thing about this, I said that this was an adult penguin. And it has all the features of an adult emperor penguin, but really an emperor penguin is much bigger than that. An adult is about this big. And emperor penguins are absolutely fascinating. At a time when other penguins are, are um, trying to keep warm and snuggle down, the harshest part of the winter, penguins are having their babies. And all penguins, most penguins live at the bottom of the world here, but uh, below the equator, which is the midpoint of the earth, but penguins live right here at the very bottom on the continent of Antarctica. And unlike other penguins, they don't make little nests out of rocks. Nope. When they have a baby, uh, every year they travel to special places to have their babies called rookeries. And they're so tired, by the time they get there, the mama penguin doesn't hasn't had anything to eat for a long time. And when she has her egg, when she lays her egg, she lays one egg, unlike other penguins that sometimes, that sometimes lay two eggs, um, it falls on her feet and she immediately covers it with something called her brood pouch. It's nice and warm in there and it keeps the baby at about 98 degrees, a nice toasty temperature. But you know what? Mommy has, has been so hungry, she has not eaten in about six weeks, that the first thing that she does is she shuffles over next to dad and transfers the egg to him. Eggs are about this big, about the size of a softball, but a little bit different shaped. She shuffles it onto his feet and he immediately covers it because it's so, so cold. In Antarctica, well, on almost any given day of the year, if you're thinking, hmm, I wonder what the coldest place on earth is, just about any day, the answer would be, it's someplace in Antarctica. And there's nothing colder than an Antarctic winter. Antarctic winter um, is uh, from, starts in probably May. May is when the baby's, uh, when the mama penguin has her baby. And um, then she waddles to the open sea and dives in and dives way down to eat fish. And she's gone for about three or three and a half months. And, the, and who's taking care of the baby penguin? Why? It's daddy. 
Daddy's sitting there, standing there with the egg right on his feet, covering it with his brood pouch, and he doesn't move. For much of it, he doesn't move. And sometimes he sleeps for 20 to 24 hours a day. That can be a whole day. And what he's doing is he's conserving his energy so that he'll be able to take care of his baby all during those cold, cold months. Then, if the baby hatches before mommy comes back, the daddy has something in, inside. It's called penguin milk that he just kind of brings up in his mouth and feeds the baby with that penguin milk but he's still waiting for mommy to come back. And the whole time that he's waiting, he's losing weight. What allows Daddy Penguin to stay still so long in such cold weather, there are a couple of different things. One of them is his blubber, which is a thick layer of fat underneath his skin. And another thing is huddling. While all of the Daddy Penguins are waiting for the Mommy Penguins to come back, they huddle in a big, tight circle. I say a big tight circle, but it's not that tight. They don't actually touch each other because if they did, their wing, their uh, feathers wouldn't keep them as warm. So they're very close to each other. And then they keep shifting around so that some, um, some penguins are near the center and they go further out and get closer to the edge and they keep slowly shuffling around to change places so that everybody gets a chance to stay warm. And that's pretty amazing. So eventually mommy penguin comes back and, and pop, daddy penguin transfers very slowly, shuffles over with the egg on his feet and transfers it to mommy. Because if it got on the ground, an egg could freeze solid in two minutes. So they want to make sure that it doesn't get cold. And then mommy takes care of the egg. I mean, I'm sorry, the baby penguin, while daddy goes to get something in to eat. And all uh, the rest of the months of the winter, mom and dad take turns feeding the baby. So let's do a couple of little poems about penguins. Let's see, how about this guy again? I'm a little penguin, two feet high. I am a bird, but I can't fly. Look at how I swim out in the sea. Woo! I'm as fast as I can be. Very nice, Mr. Penguin. Oh, now what kind of penguins do we have over here? You know, there are, depending on who you talk to, some people will tell you there are 17 types of penguins and other people will tell you there are 20. They kind of classify them differently. Not sure what kind these are, but can you help me count them? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five perky penguins. Five perky penguins stood on the shore. One went for a swim. And then there were one, two, three, four. Four perky penguins. Four perky penguins looked out to sea. One went swimming. And then there were one, two, three. Three perky penguins said, what can we do? One jumped in the water and then there were one, two. Two perky penguins sat in the sun. One dove down in and then there was one. One perky pe penguin said, this is no fun. He dove in two. And then there were none. Yay! Thank you for coming to Storytime with me today. If you'd like to find more books about penguins, both true books and story books, stop by our website at library.arlingtonva.us to find all sorts of books and to, and to find activities for young children. Thank you for joining us. Bye.